One day you have finally decided that you want to stop playing with kids toys and get yourself a 4 channel 14 bit oscilloscope like this oven. Congratulations, you broke your piggy bank, went to TMEU and ordered one. Now what's now? Well, here are a few tips that will help you to maintain your scope healthy and your measurements accurate. For demonstration purposes only, we'll be using this XDS3064AE. But it doesn't mean that you have to invest so much money in your first oscilloscope with um, touch screen, 1 giga samples per second, 14 bits resolution. It is tempting, but maybe, maybe a second hand 2 channel scope will be nice and dandy for your requirements. First thing that you should do is to check if your scope and the probes are properly calibrated and compensated. This is crucial if you have a second hand scope. Fortunately, you don't need to have additional signal generator, uh, open the device, play with the potentiometers. In modern oscilloscopes, there is an automatic calibration function oh, right here in the utility menu. The calibration process can take some time. But meanwhile, you can check TMEU for oscilloscope accessories like current probes, active probes, or attenuators. Calibrating the scope without compensating the probe is like watching The Witcher in 240p on your 65-inch OLED TV. A waste of potential. Well, here we have a pretty standard passive probe times 1 times 10 that comes together with the oscilloscope. For higher frequencies, use the times 10, and for low frequencies, low voltages, use the times 1. Once again, we are going to use the internal function generator of the scope. Connect one side of the probe to the main channel and the other side of the probe to the two pins that are on the sides. Make sure probe's attenuation matches the one on the scope settings. If you get some wacky distorted square signals like here, use the provided screwdriver that comes with the probes, uh, stick it here and adjust it, okay, and adjust it until it looks squarely enough. If all this small talk about oscilloscope bores you, let's see if you can crack this. Here we have a function generator, also from Open, and you can hear this is a generator. Here we have a BNC to BNC cable. If we connect the two, we should observe a pure sine wave, without any problems. This one is already on. And here we set it up to 1 volt peak to peak, but here we have 2 volts peak to peak. Hmm, what could be the problem? What could go wrong? Well, you can stop looking at the settings or blaming the poor cable. The problem is with the output resistance of the function generator. So, the generator makes the assumption that you are loading it with 50 ohms load. On the other hand, the input resistance of the oscilloscope is 1 mega ohm. If we simplify it, we get a voltage divider. And in order to get a 1 volt peak to peak on the load, the generator outputs 2 volts peak to peak. Anyways, you can fix it by adding a terminator to the probe, or you can adjust the output impedance on the generator to high. Well, the last thing that I would like to talk to you about is measuring mains voltage. What's the problem, sir? You just take this, plug it there, ground to ground, or and this to the live, and you can observe a nice sine wave. Hmm, that's weird, I was told not to do so because things might blow up. And they can, they can blow up if you do it wrong. We know that the outside chilling of the probe is our ground. If you connect it to the live, you will get a huge current flow which can damage your precious scope. On the other hand, if you connect it to the neutral, you still can trip the circuit breaker. Just be careful measuring any device that is connected to the mains. If you by mistake connect the ground clip to a different pin which is not ground, some current can flow indirectly to the ground and all the fun begins. Fortunately, this scope has a battery compartment, so it is a floating system. And this is one way to go around it. The other solution is to use a differential probe. If you have any other tips on how to use oscilloscope or how not to blow your face, Put them below and uh, thank you for watching.